Amanda and I met on Twitter. Is this that correct? Is, it is correct. Is this your first tweet up, Jane? It is my first tweet up. <laughs> it is Yay! my first tweet up. I think that I may have instigated many people's first tweet ups. I'm a pretty avid tweet So you're tweet kind upper. of a tweet up matchmaker. Well, I love <laughs> being able to bring the virtual relationships from Twitter into real life relationships because well, I think that's ultimately cool. what it's about. Very cool. It's about making friends in real life. Now today you're very excited not about the Yankees or baseball but about football. Yeah well I'm always ex especially this year I've been very excited about Yankee baseball but yes that was a couple months ago. I'm very excited about football today because I just closed out the NFL season in my survivor pool by going 17 and 0 meaning every week I picked the one team to win every week correctly. So do through all 17 weeks. And it looks like if the Kansas City Chiefs hold on to a to an 18-point lead with about four minutes to go, that will knock out about 26 members of my remaining competitors, meaning that we might be down to about 15 people for a lot of money. So does this mean that you have psychic abilities? <laughs> and I should be asking you, um, how do you like the Yankees in 2010? Ah, it does not mean that I have psychic abilities. It does mean that this year there were some really bad teams and I was able to benefit from picking against them on a fairly regular basis. The regular season champs for losing the most were the St. Louis Rams. I picked against them seven times and they went seven for seven for me. So thank you, St. <laughs> Louis, for your ineptitude. Um, in 2010, yeah. what do I think about the Yankees? I like this team because I think that they have made some obviously I love the acquisition of Curtis Granderson I've now convinced myself that even though he might be a little bit of a liability against lefties right. he's that much more of an upgrade defensively in the field and as a guy he is a stellar person class act great ambassador for the game and I love the fact that we now have two super stud African Americans with the Yankees CNCC. This is a team that did not have that, That's right. and I think it's awesome. And and maybe Kevin Long can work on the little lefty problem. Kevin Long said, "Give me five minutes from Curtis, and we will have it fixed." I like his confidence. <laughs> I, it might take a little bit more than five minutes. Yeah. It might take about five weeks. But maybe. I think by the time it comes crunch time, I think once we're talking about, I think once we're heading into the the dog days of August, Curtis will not be a liability. And what's your opinion about Javi Vasquez? You know, I was at. Game 7 of the 2004 ALCS. Okay? So when I read Javi Vasquez returning to the Bronx, I immediately flashed. You lost all moisture in your I, mouth. <laughs> I immediately flashed to the horrifying vision of him giving up the Grand Slam. Now, granted, he only gave up the home run. Kevin Brown had loaded the bases. Kevin, I'd like to punch my <laughs> fist in a wall. Brown. Kevin Brown, really. Oh, talk about, like signings I wish had never Bad happened. Bad times. Bad times. So I did have a flash back to that horrible moment. But I then remembered that he was really good when he first got to the Yankees and he did not want to leave. Nor did Brian Cashman want to, want to send him away, but the powers that be really wanted Randy Johnson and the Diamondbacks wanted Javi Vasquez. Right. That was a trade or yeah, he went out to the Diamondbacks, right? Or was right. it a three-team deal where he ended up with the White Sox? I know he ended... Oh, wait, didn't he go to the White Sox first? It was a three-team deal, I think. Anyway. And he did any one World Series at the White Sox. He did. But so did Jose Contreras. So, you know, what did <laughs> that say? One? I think that he's actually... First of all, I love whenever a player gets reacquired by a team and says, I am thrilled to be back. And he said all the right things when he came back. He's very happy to be... And by the way, he's not our number one. Right. He's not our number two. Doesn't have to be our eight. He's not even our number three. He is our number four pitcher behind CC, AJ, and Andy. Who's our He's, number five pitcher? We didn't even have a number four last year, so I'm <laughs> I'm thrilled. This is an upgrade. Uh -huh. If it's Sergio Mitre, I may have to kill myself. 